Hello and welcome to Avatar 101, a how-to video guide. In this video, we're going to learn about the four different types of class lists in Avatar. Then we're going to take a look at your profile, which includes your employment detail, as well as preferences on how to set them in Avatar. A very important one, especially for teachers who are coming up on a renewal period, your transcripts and your active points. Then we're going to take a look at the calendar feature that uh, Avatar has to offer. And with that, we also have a how-to and how to sign up for iCal subscriptions. Next, and probably one of the most important ones, is the course catalog. We're going to go over the different features and the different ways to view courses in the catalog. Then we'll look at the various icons on Avatar, what they mean and how to use them. And then last, but certainly not least, finding and registering for a class in Avatar. This is very important, and this is mainly what this video is going to be about. Alright, let's jump into it. Once you've logged in, this is the first page you see. Over here on the left, you're going to see the My Learning Portfolio. On your learning portfolio, you have four different types of class lists. This is the one that's the default and the preference, and I'll show you how to set that in just a minute. So you have your current class list of what you're currently taking. If I click Completed Class List, this will pop up. You can scroll up and down and view uh, several years' worth of class, classes that you have completed. Your planned list, which there's none in here for me. And then your pending class list, which I also don't have any yet. But if you had any planned classes that you have planned to register for, and as you see here, classes which are reserved pending completion of payment, including classes in your shopping cart. So if you haven't checked out yet, and I'll show you how that works in just a minute. Then your My Profile. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. So here you have your profile. You've got your personal information, user information. You can change your password here if you choose. You can also change your email address if you happen to uh, have your email change uh, during the course of employment. And then over here on the right, you have employment details. If you click on this, you scroll down, you've got all this the different types of uh, your job codes, your job IDs, your employee ID number. Mine will be blocked out here for the video, but uh, you've got all this stuff uh, when your certificate was issued, certificate expiration, all kinds of information that you can go on here and look at. And then you have your preferences. There's not much here, here that you can set, but this is uh, where you can change anything if you like. So my current default, so when I open it up avatar and I log in is set to current class list so immediately when I log in I see my current class list you can uh, change this to any of these right here current classes blank page personal calendar uh, calendar month view catalog so on and so forth same thing for the calendar week uh, set mine is set for Monday but you can also set it for Sunday or Saturday but since the school week is Monday through Friday I set mine for Monday and I believe that is the default all right, so you get your default calendar view and disable DHTML. All right, so all that stuff is there for your profile. So let's go to my transcripts. This is an important one, especially for teachers who are coming up on renewal periods. On here, it lists all the classes you've taken and completed, your status of them, and the number of points you've earned. And of course, if you've earned any certificate. Now, if you haven't completed them yet, you're going to still have zero points in the credits column. Right? So you get your status, your credit, and then the credits earned. Credit date and credit earned, and then the certificate. If you click on the certificate, pops up a certificate. If you like to print it out, if you like to print things out and have them in your portfolio, or like to frame them and put them on your wall. The other most important piece right here is in the upper right hand corner is this tab, Active Points. If you click on this, this gives you the total of uh, certified points that you have available, your ESOL bankable points, your reading bankable 20, and your certified total. All right, And then your non-certified points uh, is down here as well if you have any. This is important if you're coming up on your renewal period you need to make sure you have enough points uh, to recertify. So this is one of those important features of Avatar. Now if I click on my calendar here, it opens up to, it's already preset to the day, I'm going to go ahead and click to the month, you can do week or day, and in here, I don't have any listed myself, but in here you will have any of your classes that are uh, that you are taking that have uh, dates of during that particular month, week, or uh, day. 
So all, the, all those will be right here, very helpful. If you're planning, I prefer to put mine in iCal using the iCal subscriptions. Here, you've got uh, three different formats. You can do your personal calendar, district calendar, and catalog calendar. I really highly recommend for all teachers not to click on district or catalog because that's going to put a lot of dates in your calendar that you really don't need. Honestly, the only one you're really going to need is the personal calendar feature. So you click on the iCal, and here it tells you download the above URL or copy it into your favorite iCal based calendaring program. All right, so you're going to copy this URL and copy it into your uh, calendar. That'll subscribe you to your personal calendar. That'll automatically download all of your classes and the dates into your iCal. Great feature. And that's why I don't use the My Calendar here. I, I download it to My Calendar so I can set my reminders and my updates. Again, if you do the district calendar, catalog calendar, you're going to get all the classes that are going to be uploaded to your calendar, and your calendar is going to look booked. All right. So the next feature we're going to go to is the My is the course catalog. All right. This is uh, one of the biggest ones for everybody here. Here's the catalog calendar, and this one's set for the day. But look at the month. This is what your calendar would look like if you subscribe to the uh, district or the course catalog calendar. So you don't want to do that. This is an overview of all the features of all the classes that district has to offer. Obviously, this is not the best way to find a class. We click on the Show All Classes button, and in order, uh, alphabetical order by class name, lists all the classes that are currently available. And this video is done in mid-February, so all the videos, all the um, trainings listed here are from this point on, or, or still going on from earlier in the year. And there are different things you can do here. I'm going to go, go to the Show Next 7 Days calendar next. This will only show the upcoming, uh, so I'm going to click on the Show Next 7 Days. This will give you all of the uh, in-services that are occurring in the next 7 days. You can see the dates here. Today is uh, currently February 14th, and all my uh, dates listed here are within the next seven days. Same thing for the next 30 days. Maybe you know that a uh, training is going to happen in the next 30 days, and you want to check it out. So you're going to click on next 30 days, and there you go. You have all your trainings there. Down here next, you have available learning plans. I don't have any available. Then you have the uh, calendar down here, and if you click on that, it drops and use that. But it's nice to have it. it. tells you the day, the current day. Now, the next thing I want to show you guys is these different icons before we get into the registering and sorting piece. you got a couple different icons down here. This one's setting is alerts. If you've set any alerts, if you, uh, let's say a class has changed, a class has been canceled, or a date has been changed, the alerts will pop up here in this little box down here. There's no alerts at this time because the classes I've signed up for um, there's been no changes in them. Next is that calendar that has popped up. Here's the shopping cart. If I have added any courses in here, I can add courses one of two ways. I can drag them into here or click the Add Cart button. But once I've added, added one, it will appear here. And then this last one just gives you the uh, information about av Avatar and the program itself. Right? So we're just going to leave that right here. So what I really want to get to is the sorting options and finding a class on Avatar. This is huge. This is mainly what everyone's coming in here for. So you have a few sorting options. Right here at the top, I'm going to go to the course catalog. I'm just going to pull up all the courses, show all classes. So I'm going to click on that one. All right, so now I've got all the classes. Let's say um, right now they're sorted by class name. So when I click on that, nothing changes, and it's highlighted in blue. That tells me that's what I've sorted by. Right. Let's say I, I just want to look at who, who the contacts are. So I'm going to click on that, and this way I've got all the contact folks. You're not sure the name of the course exactly, but you know, let's say, Mr. Joel DeVincent is teaching it. So I can scroll down here and find Mr. DeVincent. There he is, and there's his four classes, and I can figure out which one it is that I need to uh, sign up for. What about a date? Well, you know it start, started back in uh, August. So I'm going to sort by date first meeting and I've got a couple classes here that started in August is this one that I wanted to sign up for and then the actions button you can't click on you can't sort but the actions uh, tab that column uh, tells you whether class is full like here join waiting list 
add cart, I can add this uh, course to my cart. And if it's blank, there's nothing, uh, nothing there for you. All right. So I'm going to go back here and click on class name. Those are some features of ways to sort to find your classes using Avatar right from this screen. You can also uh, sort by using the search option. Now the search option you want to be as broad as possible. So let's say, uh, let's see, let me PLC. Now, I don't know the exact name of the course, but let's say I'm, I want to find a course on PLC. I know there's something out there. Bam. I've got all these courses right here. I just got to figure out which one it is that I'm signing up for. All right, so let's say I click on, hmm, ooh, this is it. This is me, Hudson Middle School, Mrs. Holback. I want to add that to cart. So I add that to cart. You see I can cancel it or remove it from cart here. And then if I go to shopping cart here down in the left-hand corner, my the, the this uh, in-service has been put into my shopping cart. But I haven't signed up yet. In order to do that, I must check out. All right. But let's say, oh, oops, I didn't mean to hit that one. Just remove from cart, goes back to normal, no harm done. All right, so there's some other ways to search and sort your classes. Let's say you come down here, and I know Mr. Dean has a class that I need to take. Oh, there it is, District Algebra 1 PLC. Or maybe it's the facilitator you know. You, you know, come down here, let's see. Oh, I know uh, Mrs. Wood is a teacher of ESOL stuff and I need to take an ESOL class. I'm going to come down here and look and find all my ESOL courses that Mrs. Wood is the uh, facilitator for. And I can add whichever one to cart. And join a waiting list. If I click on this, it says you've been added. I, don't re I really don't want to take that, so I'm just going to cancel that. But that's what happens if you, if you need to uh, join a class that's already full. And then choose category. There's nothing there for, for you to filter through since we have a limited number of classes being offered right now. Before we go, there's one other feature that I wanted to show you, and that is the Help tab here. This is really neat, especially if you don't want to come back to this video. Um, you just click on the uh, Help tab, and this new window pops up. And you can just go through here and how to register, what happens if you forgot your password, your warning plan progress, class list, everything and anything that you can uh, think of that you need information on how to do something. Avatar has done a really good job of putting uh, this how-to guide in here for us all. That's pretty much the basics for all, all of the uh, Avatar 101. If you have any questions, please contact me. You can reach me at pkupchik, that's P-K-U-P-C-Z-Y-K, at pasco.k12.fl.us. Thank you for joining me today and have a great day.